Hey YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. My name is Motors and this is not my Jeep. This is my wife's 2018 Toyota Tacoma and we're just out here doing a little bit of uh, basic maintenance on the Jeep and on the uh, Toyota here. And I noticed uh, something weird that I'd never seen before on an air filter. I went to get air filters and cabin air filters and did an oil change on the Jeep. And when I was putting the air filter in the Toyota, I noticed that this Wix air filter, which I've never used them before, but from what I understand, they're pretty decent quality. Uh, it had a piece of foam uh, attached to the front of it. So I thought, what is that? So I had to look it up. So here's the foam. It's just attached to the, uh, the filter there with, uh, looks like a couple stripes of uh, glue. Uh, I almost pulled it off of there, but I thought, let me double check and see what it is. There's the uh, filter there. So I looked it up, and some people said that uh, that foam was there uh, for northern climates to actually help slush and things stay out of the uh, intake. Others say it's just an extra uh, bit of protection, and uh, once it's time to change your filter, you can actually go and pull that foam off, and now you have a fresh, basically fresh uh, air filter uh, uh, some say you can wash that and put it back. Not so sure how I, uh, I like that. I'm used to getting K&N filters if I'm going to reuse them. Uh, so we're going to put this back in and uh, see how it goes. We'll see if we notice any difference in uh, gas mileage or anything like that. But yes, I know a lot of you guys are going to hit me up in the comments about uh, giving the engine bay a nice clean wash. But I do live in the desert. Uh, I'll get to that, but uh, right now we're taking care of the motor. Uh, this is the uh, filter that I pulled out, uh, and this is the one we're putting back. So let's get this thing back in there. And while I'm at it, I decided to go ahead and change the uh, cabin air filter. Uh, usually I forget to do that or if I'm somewhere else and uh, having them do my uh, oil change and air filters and things, uh, they always want to do that. And I say, no, I'll do it myself because I know uh, that they're not very expensive. Uh, so let's do that and let's see how dirty it is. So to get to this, it's behind the uh, stuff in the glove box. So let me show you. After pulling the... Uh napkins and owner's manual and all kinds of things out of the glove box we can see it says slide up and remove so let's do that slide that up look another little housing there and look at this filter it is certainly time to be replaced we even got uh, a few leaves uh, that made it in so let's get the new one out of the box so I stopped at my local O'Reilly's, picked up this uh, MicroGuard cabin air filter, awfully a lot cleaner than the uh, one that was installed and needing to be changed. So let's uh, lay these side by side and see how much difference it is. Alright, so as you can see, it was time to change. Uh, and when you look at it, it tells you which direction the airflow. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. Which way the uh, airflow should go. So this needs to go in this position, and we'll just slide it right in. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. It's the next day and something was bugging me all evening and through the morning about this filter direction, airflow direction of this 2018 Toyota Tacoma. Turns out that I installed it upside down. 
the issue was that I was following the arrow on the factory uh, cabin air filter that actually says to point the uh, arrow up towards the windshield. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the way the airflow goes. So I did a little research and of course when I was looking at this thing uh, and took it apart and I thought why would this debris be sitting on top of this air filter if the airflow goes up? Made no sense. All that debris would just be blowing around in there. So I did some uh, research online today and found out that the aftermarket uh, cabin air filters actually tell you to follow the flow by the arrows, not by the arrow that's on the factory one. So I pulled it out. I'm going to flip it upside down and put it right back. So just wanted to bring that to your attention. Nobody wants to make the same mistake I did. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. But hey, if you guys like what you're seeing, click and subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Keep this thing going.